four. And today we're going as, I guess it's Syrophoenician. Uh, he does not have his hat on or the rest of his costume because he's driving. But um, we've got mine pretty much put together there. So um, not sure what we're filming today. Yesterday we were in the marketplace quite a bit. And um, looking forward to seeing what today brings. There is rain in the forecast at around 5 p.m. Uh, a chance of a thunder shower. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. My costume's quite heavy and I can't even imagine how heavy it will be if it's wet. Tomorrow it's also supposed to be very cold. Um, and rain, perhaps. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see what that brings. It is 6.20. And... Is our call time 6.15? Yeah, so we're about five minutes after. But again, they have chastised us not to be early. So we're desperately trying not to be early. So you show up at your call time or just afterwards see the line that is formed all the way down the dirt road and um, moving slowly but people are making their way in. All right, we'll see what happens today. Uh, I need to kind of bring you into the headspace that we need to be in today. This is a, an incredible uh, capturing we're going to do today. We're capturing a scene that people have read for generation after generation. Some misinterpreting Jesus' motives. Some feeling like they know what he was feeling or thinking. And I want you to know, when we go into shooting today, this atmosphere will be somber. It will be very intense. Um, our actors will be in a different place than they were even last week or yesterday or where they'll possibly be tomorrow. And though we shoot things out of order, these guys got to go in and out of these emotions. And so I'm calling on you guys to help us be in a different place than we were yesterday. Uh, I think you'll even pick up from our AD department that there's a different vibe on set this morning. Okay? Um, Jonathan has an immensely heavy offering that he's bringing this morning. Two things. First, I'm asking you to be praying for him. Second, he doesn't need to know you're praying for him. Okay? I'm going to say that with a big smile on my face. That will throw them off. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I know we're laughing, but seriously. Um, I would say when they say cut, you put your head down. You're not even trying to make eye contact with them. Let them be in the zone. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so then I know that you can do it, or I would stand up here and say it. And that's why I feel like I have great confidence to say, hey, guys, can we go to a different place today? And I know you'll do it. So uh, can I pray for us real quick? Yeah. If you want to use your hands, do it. God, thank you for these sweet people. Pray that you just give us a, a divine understanding of the atmosphere we're walking into this morning. I pray that you give us a divine understanding of even the way we should carry ourselves on set. Take us back to what it was like when it, when it first happened. I pray that what we capture today is exactly what took place. That would be amazing. You can do those things. You said we can ask the impossible when it comes to you. You're an impossible God who does impossible things. God, we love you. We know that you love us. And we love you back with all we have. And I pray that our lives would say, I love you far louder than our mouths ever could. And I pray we'd be light to each other. And we'd be blessed and be a blessing. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Everybody say
headed back on set. It's Thursday, very busy day filming. We filmed all morning. <laughs> and all 600 of us are heading back on the stage. Yes, very, very intense. We are leaving filming after day four. It is 7.23 p.m. We've been here since 6.15 a.m. So another 13 hour day today. It was really an exciting day for filming. I can't give any spoilers, but we did get to see Jesus pretty much all day. And um, it was really, really exciting. I cannot wait to see this episode. I believe they said it was season five, episode two. And uh, we filmed the same scene all day long from different angles. We started filming at the middle of the scene and then we went to the very end of the scene and then we started going backwards in reverse order and then all back and forth. So none of it was filmed chronological. So that was really interesting to see. Uh, we did a lot of standing, did a lot of walking, very short lunch period today. In fact, we were not in the tent for very long at all. We were in the tent just for breakfast. We dismissed rather early. Everybody went down, all three groups. So it was the red, the green, and the blue. We are blue now. And all three groups were down there for the entirety of the day except for lunch and I want to say our lunch period was maybe 30 minutes and that includes getting 600 plus people through the lines. Of course the lines are all boxed lunches and then if you have dietary restrictions there's a separate station for you to go. Uh, they do have So this is what our cards, our lanyards, and our admittance cards look like. And if you have dietary restrictions, you get a sticker. And it depends on what your dietary restrictions are. So they offered gluten-free, they offered vegan, and then they offered gluten-free and vegan. So the color that you have your sticker is according to uh, if you have food allergies. If you have something beyond that, um, you'd probably have to really talk to them or bring your own. There are a lot of snacks available and there are snacks even that go with the dietary preferences. Um, for the food allergies, even the food allergies, you still get a full meal and uh, at lunch you get some type of dessert. So that's been fun. And it's, so we're really tired and both of us are ready to get back to the hotel, get a eat, get a shower and go to bed. My feet are hurting today. I had brand new shoes that I didn't get a chance to break in as I had ordered, when we first signed up, I had ordered a pair of shoes that were a Clark's brand, reputable brand, got them in, they hurt my feet, they were horrible, sent those back, ordered a second pair, and they were the Born brand, also a brand I'm familiar with, and I've worn before. I had been breaking those in for the last, I wanna say, I had been breaking those in for the last, I wanna say two months, which is about the lead time that we had, I think. I could be wrong on that. 
and clear up until the week before we left, I realized they were still rubbing blisters on my feet. There wasn't anything that I could do. I ordered two pair of Skechers sandals literally right before we left. They arrived the day before we flew out. And uh, the one pair, I actually wore them to work one day and that was it for getting to break them in. And that's the ones that I've been wearing and they've been fine. My feet are sore today just because of all the standing on concrete and all of that. But um, it's not a problem with the shoes. Whereas the other two pair of shoes that I had gone through, the first pair just weren't comfortable at all. The second pair were fairly comfortable, but they just really rubbed blisters on my feet and there was just no getting around that. Even moleskin wouldn't have helped just the way that they fit. So, comfortable shoes, absolute must, break them in, do all of that ahead of time, and you should be fine. Again, there are a lot of older people here, a lot of retirees. I've met several people who are far in their 70s, perhaps later. I'm absolutely amazed by all of the costumes and all of the creativity that a lot of the people that have done with their outfits and styling. Um, we made our costumes, we each made five, and uh, I could have done better on some of my accessories for my Jewish and my plain Gentile. Well, even my Syrophoenician, which is what I'm wearing now. I could have done better on that, but I really didn't know what I was doing, so I would know better the next time. But I'm really, really amazed with the creativity of everybody. There are some of the most beautiful people that you've ever seen. I mean, people of all colors, all races, all skin types, just absolutely stunning people. There was a woman I spoke to yesterday and she's so pretty. And I said, ma'am, you are just beautiful. And she was kind of taken aback. She said, oh my, I don't get that very often. I'm 72 years old. And I was like, well, you should get that because she was absolutely stunning. She actually looked a lot like Nicodemus's wife, if you watch the series. Uh, and I told her that. I said, you look a lot like Nicodemus's wife. And she's like, oh, oh, goodness, goodness. But stunningly beautiful people. And um, a lot of really unique uh, ethnic groups that are represented here, a lot of countries that are represented here, and it's really, really neat to get to see that. We're headed back to the hotel. I'm very much ready to eat, shower, and go to bed. So, yeah. We'll see what tomorrow is. I cannot even believe that it will be our last day already. We've already done five days, and I it's just flown by. The days are long and the week is very, very short. So, um, yeah, I don't even want to think about it being the last day tomorrow, but then we'll have a part two to this because we're going to hang around in Utah for a few days and do some other things. So, um, our chosen experience will be up tomorrow, which is Friday, but hopefully we'll get to see some other things in Utah. All right.